Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check a couple of new products from Dayton. The first one is a 20 by 20 mm stack which is based on an F7 flight controller and a 40 ampere BLLAS 4-in-1 ESC and the second one is a 204 motor which is available in 4S and 6S compatible KV options. In this video I'm going to go over the features and specs of the stack, bench test the motors using Mamoto's thrust stand and then after assembling the motors and stack on the Dayton F4LR frame, head outdoors and test them out. First let's start with the Mamba Basic F722 Mini MK3 stack. In terms of packaging, the MK3 stack comes well protected inside this plastic case, where inside along with the stack you can find silicon grommets, rubber o-rings, 6cm long 16 gauge battery leads, an XT60 battery connector, 5 extra Philips M2 screws and 6 plastic nuts, a 35 volts 470 microfarad capacitor, an anti-interference shielding accessory and an extra 8 pins GST harness for connecting the flight controller and 4-in-1 ESC. In terms of specs, the MK3 Mini F722 flight controller features an F7 processor, a 2.5 ampere 5 volts BC, an onboard barometer, a USB Type-C connector, an onboard 16 megabytes of memory for logging black box data and three full UL ports in addition to three non-full ones. In addition, it features a couple of improvements over the previous Mamba flight controllers. So first of all, the soldering pads are much bigger and easier to work with. It's using a USB Type-C connector. A BEC short circuit protection has been added and the gyro is using an independent low voltage regulator. This is actually not the full list of changes, and for the full one, which applies to the recent flight controllers by Dayton, please refer to Dayton's website. As for the 40 ampere BLLES 4-in-1 ESC, it features an onboard current sensor. It can be powered with between 3 to 6 S batteries. The soldering pads of the motors can be found both on the top and bottom side of the board, and in addition to the 8 pins GST connector, you can find the matching soldering pads on the bottom of the 4-in-1 ESC. In addition, individually the weight of both flight controller and 4-in-1 ESC is 5.9 grams and together along with the JSD harness, their total weight is 12.4 grams. So overall, as far as I can tell, and especially after giving it a try, I can tell you that this is a very capable stack, although it's a little bit unfortunate that the flight controller doesn't feature a 10 volts BC, which is very useful for powering a DJI Air Unit or Cadex Vista digital transmission systems. Now let's move on to the Mamba Toka 2004 motors which are going to be available soon. They are available in two KV options, 1700 KV which supports up to 6S batteries and 2900 KV which supports up to 4S batteries, both when spinning 5 inch propellers. The weight of the motor, including the 10 cm long 24 gauge silicon coated wires is 16.6 grams. Its motor base is 12 mm. The motor bell is secured using a C-clip and here you can see what it looks like after separating the motor bell from the stator. Inside the motor bell you can find 14 magnets. The inside motor shaft diameter is 3 mm and the outside motor shaft diameter is 1.5 mm. As for the stator, its height is 4 mm and its diameter is 20 mm. The next thing that I've done is to bench test the Mamba 2004 motors using 4 inch and 5 inch T-mounted HQ Pro propellers using Mamoto's thrust end and then after assembling the 1700 kV motors along with the MK3 stack on the Dayton F4LR frame, I headed outdoors and tested them out. In terms of performance, as you would probably expect, these 2004 motors are much more powerful than the 1404 3000 kV motors that the F4LR was originally shipped with, and even if you are going to use this kind of setup with an 18650 4S lithium-ion battery pack, the performance is going to be adequate, However, if you are going to use a 6S battery such as this one, this thing becomes a small rocket. So the major advantage of using this kind of setup in comparison to the traditional 4-inch micro long range setup which is using 1404 motors is that it's going to be much more powerful even though it's not going to be as efficient. So I think that the next step would be to use similar bigger frames which will allow you to use 5-inch or 6-inch propellers. I'm going to wrap up this video with the thrust test of these motors and some flight footage 
And by the way, in case it's not clear, on all my frost tests, you can find the frost test results included in the description box of the video. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.